What are people slowly starting to forget? The Equifax breach. Remember that when you wanted to call someone at home, you had to go through the gatekeeper, usually another relative. You had to ask for the person to see if they are even there. TLDR. House phones. Spending hours standing in one spot cause you did not have wireless phones. How to burn CDs. You just throw them in a fire right. That'll do. The fact that there was a part in 2016 where clown chased people. 2016 was fucking weird in general. The Panama Papers. That Matthew Broderick killed two people with reckless driving, and only had to pay $125, by saying he lost his memory. I didn't forget, I had no knowledge of this, I'm surprised to find it is true. Are you Matthew Broderick? Pandemic diseases like the Spanish flu that wipe out large populations, it's particularly worrying with western medicine losing more and more funding. Drug resistant bacteria, and idiots like anti-vaxxers increasing the odds for viruses. Someone's just bumping down the difficulty level, we'll reach a point, where 50% of people won't wash their hands, and doctors will only work two days a week, slash us. Nature, 100 years ago you could catch a cod, that was 6 feet long off the coast of Newfoundland, today you're lucky, if you get one that is a foot, the strange thing is, that people are equally excited, now we just think, that cod are maximum 2 feet in length, ecological amnesia is the term I believe. It's also called shifting baselines. My grandpa remembers a world with way more birds in it, but once he's gone his baseline goes with him. Then it will be me remembering the number of birds from my childhood, which was already low compared to his childhood. Hence a shifted baseline. Everything's fucked and we don't even realize how far fucked it is. With incels interlinked. That there are repercussions. I notice these days that, if someone insults you, for example, and you return fire, they immediately seem to forget, that they threw the first folly of shit, and then act, like you're the bad guy, maybe accountability is being forgotten too? Not just insults, I've noticed now people tend to throw the first punch and act genuinely surprised when the person fights back. There was considerable evidence supporting Saudi Arabia's government involvement in 9 over 11. That Reddit had no ads not that long ago. Neither did YouTube. Those were the days. That people can take their time to respond, and need not be available through phone or social media all the time. That in the US, we still have a law called the USA, Patriot Act that allows the government, to invade our privacy without a warrant or probable cause, thus making it clearly in violation of the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. There's also the NDAA, link in description, that Obama put in, in 2011, that allows the government, to pick you up and detain you, in secret, for an indefinite amount of time, with no charges ever being filed. I get the feeling, that talking about it will get you detained too. If I don't post for the next 24 hours. The importance of your privacy. How getting a degree was only needed for a job, you could get anything you wanted, and still go into a technical position. Now, your degree is essentially obsolete without the right degree or experience, or anything meaningful that makes your background better than the people you're competing against. Study just published recently, 66% of entry level jobs require 3 years experience. Phone numbers, addresses, etc. With the ability to save numbers to your phone and Google just about every address out there, many people don't seem to commit them to memory anymore. On the opposite side of that, I still remember my home phone number from, when I was a kid, that was around 15 years ago now. I remember my phone number and the phone number of my best friend, when I was a child. The world wars, the cold war, and just how fragile and valuable this society we've built up over the last hundred years is. What America was like before 9 over 11, we've become a lot more paranoid and willingly gave up a lot of our freedoms, to buy the illusion of security, and we don't really think of the ramifications of everything the Patriot Act has in it. Current first time voters literally don't remember. Can confirm was 3. Russia's illegal annexing of Crimea, the war still going on in Ukraine, how the current Iranian regime came to power, the Vegas shooting, the hurricane in Puerto Rico where power was just finally restored, 
and so much more. Apparently, there's still no motive for Vegas. A world before the war in Afghanistan and Iraq, the United States has been in that war since 2001. That means starting around next year there will be people fighting in a war that began before they were born. This generation has never known a world before 9 over 11. Was just thinking this. I'm 21 and in a public policy class we watched Iraq for sale. So many things I didn't know because I was so young. A lot of people don't know about Abu Ghraib anymore. The recession of 08. I see so many people making the same mistakes once again. Like leveraging everything to buy an overpriced house they can't afford. That the internet was not always around. In Dhaka, Bangladesh the students being raped and murdered because they were protesting to have safer roads and the gangs of pro-government kids were angry. It was a major thing on Reddit for like a week and everyone seems to have forgotten about it. One of my friends is from there, was posting about it all the time and suddenly hasn't said a word about it. She's relatively safe in the US, but won't talk it. That the person of the president is not supposed to be the primary focus of the news every single day. The reason all those international, rules-based organizations were created after WW2. The diseases like measles, mumps, rubella or ETC seldom appear today because of vaccines. Vaccinate your kids. What it is like to have loved ones, especially children catch diseases that today can be prevented through vaccinations. To read the accounts of children developing the symptoms of polio and having them forcibly removed from homes by civil authorities. Neighbors watching while screaming mothers and fathers tried to stop it slash deny that their children were ill. I think if we were exposed to this today some wouldn't be so resistant to vaccinations. Semicolon. We are becoming victims of our own exceptionalism. I saw a billboard the other week in 2018 that said let's fix polio. Bitch we did 30 years ago. Adder I saw an ad that said there are X amount of polio survivors in the world right now. With your help we can get that number down to zero. Maybe not the best phrasing. Las Vegas massacre wasn't very long ago at all. Lots of unanswered questions yet. Every mass shooting gets scrutinized so much, but for some reason this one wasn't. I have a lot of questions as well. Like, what was his motivation? Compared to the mail bomber this week, within hours of his arrest we were told all about him, and why he did it. Just how many insects should be around, in the last few decades or, so the biomass of insects has dropped drastically, and it's real bad. Like ecosystem collapse level bad. Tell that to the 18 flies, that get into my house every time I open the door. Remember when it was 1800 flies? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Does anyone know if Flint has clean water yet? 